Oh, hey guys. Hey, it's Pastor Ronnie and I think I am going bananas because I miss you guys so much. Hey, we have a brand new lesson for today. And so let's check it out. Hey guys, it's going to be an awesome day. I'm so glad that you have joined us today. Now, today for our Explore Time, we are going to do a science experiment. And I don't know about you, but I love science. It's so fun to do. And so today we're going to be doing some stuff for the chemical reaction because this week we're talking about how God's spirit changes everything. And so just like baking soda that I have in this bottle right here and vinegar make a potent combination that makes something explosive. What we're talking about today in the Big God story is the Holy Spirit and more specifically his baptism. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that with my friends that you'll see later on. But first, let's get this experiment on. So, hey, if you want to do this, first and foremost, ask your parents for permission. OK, but if you are going to do it first and foremost, get some baking soda, get some vinegar, get a balloon as well. And what you'll want to do in a normal case is take a funnel and put the baking soda into the balloon. Now I had to adjust it a little bit, so I put it in this bottle instead. And what you'll do, you're gonna turn it over and you're gonna get as much of it in there as you possibly can. I'm squeezing it in here so that we can have a super duper awesome explosion. And I should also say, you should either do this outside. Oh, I just got baking soda on me. I got baking soda attacked. Oh, this changes everything, which by the way is our theme for this whole entire quarter. That's the last week of it. Then what you'll want to do, open up your vinegar. And make sure you have a container if you're gonna do it inside or you're gonna do it in the sink or something like that. Put it over. I'm gonna get my bucket out just in case because Miss Shani, my wife, is our, uh, our custodian or janitor here. And she would be so mad at me if I let it get super messy in here. And so, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. I'm gonna try to put all the baking soda in there as possible going to be adding up. Let's see how big is it going to be. Do you guys think that it's going to explode or do you think it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger and we're not going to have to worry about an explosion? Let me know in the comments. So right now what's happening is the baking soda and the vinegar are coming together and they are forming some gas. So specifically it's forming CO2. And so what it's going to do is it's going to keep on building because it doesn't have an opportunity to leave it. And so it's going to keep building pressure and pressure until this balloon blows up. Now, if you didn't notice, I didn't blow up the balloon with my mouth. And normally it takes breath to be able to do that. But it did it itself. And so, like I said, this morning we're going to be talking about the Holy Spirit and how he brought himself to the people of God. And so that they could be powerful people that would follow Jesus forever. All right, we're going to see what works here. I'm going to shake it up a little bit to see if that helps at all. Uh oh, I see it. It's pop. It's blowing up now. Awesome. I'm wondering if I need to start putting it in the bucket. Do you guys think it can get bigger? Let's shake it up to see if we can. I love science and really I love when I can do science experiments while teaching God's Word. Those are some of my most favorite things. Hey, let's get into our message now 
and let's have some fun. I'm glad you guys are here with us today. God is faithful. God's word is our strength. God forgives. God is help. Jesus is king. God restores relationship. God is love. Jesus is compassionate. God is near. Jesus restores. Jesus is life. God's Spirit changes everything. This changes everything. Hey kids, so glad to see you this week. This week, we are talking about an event that changed everything. Whoa, where did all the color go? This is crazy. Have you ever experienced something really big that changed everything in your life? Well, that's a hint of what we're gonna be learning today. But before the color comes back, stand up and let's worship. We've got a battle to fight. God is on our side. We've got a world to reach. Your spirit lives in me. We've got a need to feel. We know it's your will for the world to see that you said.
case of the bumping thumping. Hi, I'm Sam Saint, Super Sleuth. And this is my partner, the Holy Spirit. You can't see him, but he's always there. We walk our beat like a single mystery meat sandwich at, 12, at a table of 12 hungry campers. The camp, camp, what you got there? Beautiful camp, what you got there on the shores of Lake, I don't know what place of peace all right but when that peace is shattered that's when we come in you see we are peacemakers yes we are the peace patrol today thursday last day of camp at camp what you got there i was on special assignment as night watchman it was late Chapel was over, the popcorn and Gatorade parties were through, the pillow fights were done, kids were settling in their cabins for serene summer slumber. It was dark, it was late, I was walking the campgrounds, making sure the kids were safe, when suddenly I heard it. Ah! Well, it was louder than that, but I didn't want to scare you. Kids were screaming in the night. I rushed to the sound, and there they were, standing in front of their cabin, a group of mortified, petrified, stupefied boys. I walked up to those boys and said, what seems to be the problem, gentlemen? One of them looked up at me and said, I asked him to slow down, breathe, and speak English. And here's what he said. Mr. Saint... Somebody told us there's a vicious camper-eating monster that comes up out of the lake at night. And we heard a noise. It was a bumping, thumping, scratching, screeching, scraping sound in the night. And we're so scared we could spit. Ew. What do you do with a cabin load of frightened guys? I didn't know. I prayed right there and asked my partner to help. And he reminded me that the Bible says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. The psalmist wrote, I will lay me down in peace and sleep, for you are with me. Oh, yeah. So I talked to the boys about those verses. I prayed with them, sent them back into their cabin, and turned into the dark of the night to find the source of the bumping, thumping, scratching, screeching, scraping sound. It was dark, so dark I couldn't see my hand if it were on the other side of this room. Oh, yeah. I was halfway across the Myrtle T. Plugmire Memorial Ball Field when I heard it. It made me freeze in my tracks. It was a bumping, thumping, scratching, screeching, scraping sound in the night. I was mortified. I was petrified. I was stupefied. I do believe in spooks. I do, I do. I was so scared, my heart was beating in my nose. That's really scared in case you didn't know. My partner reminded me that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. And, well, he's perfect love, and perfect love casts out all fear. So I began to walk one step after another towards the sound in the night. I got closer and closer. It got louder and louder and louder. And soon I turned the corner of the camp kitchen, and there it was, its eyes reflected in my flashlight. Oh, the horror of it all. It was a stray kitty cat. He'd gotten his leg caught on a piece of wire, and the wire was caught on a box and a can, and he was just trying to get away, bumping, thumping, scratching, screeching, scraping. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I freed that cat in Jesus' name and carried it back to the boy's cabin to show him there was nothing to be afraid of. And you know, while I was doing my part, my partner had done his. Those boys were no longer afraid of the night. They were sleeping soundly. Oh, yeah, the peace that passes understanding had wrapped them up in their sleeping bag. Yeah, I walk with confidence in a strength that's not my own. Holy Spirit, it gives me power codes. I'm in the peace patrol. Well, the word of God in the holy book, the peace of God to guard my soul. I 
walk victorious cause I'm in the peace patrol. I'm Sam St. Super Sleuth, and this is my partner, the Holy Spirit. You can't see him, but he's always there. That's why I walk my beat with confidence, and you can too as you live for him in the Peace Patrol. See you around, sweethearts. In today's Big God Story, we're speaking about the Holy Spirit. And every week we get our Big God Story from the Bible. And this week, we're talking about the Holy Spirit and how he came and how he changed everything. See, the Bible's made up of two parts. And in the Old Testament, we see that the Holy Spirit, he comes and he falls upon special people. Special people who would lead the Israelites to follow God. People like Samson who received incredible strength from God because the Holy Spirit came upon him. But in the New Testament, when Jesus leaves, he says to the people, hey, I'm going to send the Holy Spirit and he is going to fill you with power. You just need to wait. So the disciples waited and they waited and they're found in the upper room waiting for the Holy Spirit to come to fill them with power. And while they're praying and worshiping all together in one place, in one accord, what we find is the Holy Spirit comes and it's like the sound of a rushing wind. And they see tongues that are on fire fall upon each of their heads. And they begin to speak in these different languages, languages that they've never even learned before. And they fall out into the street and people walking by from all these different nations realize that these guys who are from Israel are speaking their foreign language. They're amazed. This miracle has happened. The Holy Spirit has come, filled them with his power, and this had changed everything. Peter. Peter, the guy, if you remember, who who had denied Jesus, was so afraid to stand up to the Romans All of a sudden, this Peter is stood in front of thousands of people. And Peter begins to share the good news of Jesus with boldness because of the power of the Holy Spirit. That day, the church began to grow massively. Thousands of people came to follow Jesus that day. And from then on, the Holy Spirit helped the church spread the good news of Jesus. Can I tell you that today, the Holy Spirit can change everything for your life? You're not too young to experience the power of the Holy Spirit. If you ask him, if you listen for his voice, he will lead you and he will guide you. And he'll help you have the boldness that Peter had to share the good news of Jesus. Let's take a moment and close our eyes and let's just ask the Holy Spirit to do something new and special in our lives. He can do something new in your life today. So let me pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you sent the gift of the Holy Spirit. God, help us to listen for his voice, to be guided by him. And I pray, God, today that you would fill us with his power, that we could live for you in boldness. Amen. Hey, let me take a moment and bless you today. Would you put out your hands like you're receiving a gift and let me speak this blessing over you. May you be filled with God's spirit so you know how wide and long and high and deep Jesus' love is for you. May you see God's spirit at work in you, in your church and in your conversations with those who don't yet know Jesus so that they can hear your story and believe in him. Hey kids, today has been a great message and I hope and pray that you've taken some time to pause, to ask the Holy Spirit for his awesome baptism and for him to show you what does it mean to live a life that is full of his 
spirit. Now, sometimes when we're dealing with hard issues, sometimes we feel afraid. Sometimes we don't know what to do about these hard situations and we have to we have to try to rely on ourselves. But that's not actually what God wants. See, God's spirit wants to help us. Well, that's one of the things about the Holy Spirit is that he's a helper. Another thing about the Holy Spirit is that he is fully a God and he's part of the Godhead. You have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And with that, the Holy Spirit wants to show you that he can be your friend. He can be somebody that you can trust. He's somebody that loves you and cares for you so deeply. He's also somebody that gets really sad. The Bible tells us that he grieves. And it says that we can know him more because he's a person and he wants to have relationship with us. See, now, sometimes we can be afraid and we can have issues and we could be struggling with a lot of different things. But the Holy Spirit wants you to be bold. He wants you to be fearless. You know, like with the part with Sam St. Super Sleuth today, as he was telling his story, he was talking about how he was being afraid and didn't know what to do. But he trusted his partner, the Holy Spirit. And see, God wants us to do that. Now, right now in our world, it feels crazy. It feels insane. You guys aren't going back to school this year. You are missing out on things that you really wanted to be a part of. Your parents are having to do things differently or your grandparents are having to do things differently. And maybe you've seen some stuff about people being treated unfairly or poorly. Maybe sometimes based off of their skin color or, or something else. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I'm afraid to say something about that and to stand up for what is right and, or to stand up even when things are changing and they're scary and they're shifting. But that's when the Holy Spirit gives us the opportunity to be brave and bold because God's Spirit lives inside of us. And so kids, I want you to know that God's Spirit when you pursue him and you pursue his baptism, he's going to give you a special, special gift. And this gift is not just meant for you, it's meant for the whole entire world. See, there's this prophet in the Old Testament named Joel, and Joel did some really cool things. But specifically, he spoke some stuff about how there would be this day that both men and women both boys and girls, that people of all different nations, of all different languages, of all different colors, would be able to experience the gift of the Holy Spirit. And that's what, what happened on the day of Pentecost. And that still gets to happen now. And that gift wasn't just for them. It wasn't just for us. It was for the world to know Jesus. And so when you're feeling afraid, when you feel inadequate, when you feel like things are hard, know that the Holy Spirit wants to give you boldness. He wants to give you strength. He wants to empower you to be like Jesus. Kids, I love you and I'm so excited to be resuming our kids groups. In just a couple of weeks, we're gonna start elementary and junior combined on June 14th and we're going to do that for the whole entire summer until we get into September. But also don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to us on all of our social media platforms. I hope and pray that you have an awesome week. We love you guys. We'll see you next time.